Yeah, and and another thing. You know, when you scroll down on this website, it says looking to invest in pre-sale, email our investment department right at the bottom right here, right? Looking to invest in pre-sale. Pre-sale suggests what? You're coming out with an, an ICO, initial coin offering, or what? An IEO, initial exchange offering, whatever. The, I mean, come on, man. What? What? Oh, my goodness. And you know what's crazy, too? Because this is all crazy. It's lunacy. You can't buy the coin if you wanted to. Unless... Unless you know someone who has a coin and you want to, I don't know, man. Unless you, you know, you've been staking, right? Keyword staking the coins in your wallet, in your QT wallet. Let's say you wanted more and you know someone who has their wallet and they're selling or whatever. That's a peer to peer. That's how you would be able to acquire or sell tokens to one another, I guess. What? I don't know, man. So, is this because the bull run, the bull run, the bull market is, is, is you know, potentially making a return? Why all of a sudden... Big Connect, Big Connect, Little B is making a comeback. But July 1st, they say now, July 1st. You know what this, okay. So many questions, the, the marketing. You know, there's so many projects that are, Low cap, right? Low cap projects, even bigger cap projects that have mid cap projects that have horrible marketing. But the negative, the negative press that BitConnect received and got, all that is working in their favor right now. The next month and a half in the cryptocurrency space will be lit understand that it's going to be lit just because of this if this holds out the cryptocurrency space will be lit big connect i mean this didn't they even have some type of spoof parody some type of satire on saturday night live this thing went mainstream They connect. That's why they can come out and do this and have simple, regular people like myself talk about it. Wow. Wow. Pre-sale. So what happens to the old coins? How can people become whole again? Is this a scam? People are saying it's a scam because... You know, at the bottom of the link and, in, in, you know, if you look at the link on a desktop or, or something else, you'll see the Binance referral banner on the on the bottom, you know, of this of the ad. You can't see it here, but time is ticking away. The timer is ticking So people are going to, you know, just just do all types of <laughs> investigation to to find out what's going on. What happened with the with, you know, with the lawsuit or, or the investigation with through the SEC or whomever. Well, how did that turn out? But well, BCC 2.0 is coming back. And what could how how's it coming back? We don't know. But this is going to garner attention, I'm telling you, from the haters, supporters, everyone in between.
Big Connect reached number five, I think. They they beat Dash out of the top ten coin market cap out of the top ten coins of coin market cap back in 2017. They beat Dash. It's a fact. Cryptocurrency market cap was above two billion. So when they relinquished the BCC tokens to all the users, they kept the BTC. That's why I say the bread is there. They got the money, man. They got the fiat. They got the crypto. They got the BTC. They got the BTC. They could do whatever they want. You put out one, one simple tweet and you get all this notoriety. Meanwhile, there's a community of BCC commu uh, uh, people who've been fighting, struggling to, to, to really hold on, you know, keep this thing alive, keep it going. Keep this going. And they've just been trying, they're trying, they're trying to fight through all the beat down of the, of the market and the world saying, you know, the... You know, this is a dead coin, it's a dead blockchain, it's a scam, Ponzi, blah, blah, blah. You have a community that's been truly, truly trying to keep this thing going. Quiet as kept. Fighting to find ways to, to utilize the BCC coin, you know, through staking, yes, but find other ways to create use cases for the coin, right? been tweeting they've been they're sending all kinds of messages they got no it's been quiet like a church mouse meanwhile you got this thing this this right here with a counter with a timer a countdown and there's videos there's retweets there's, there's i'm doing videos i'm uh, jumped on like what you can see the mass hysteria. You see, this is the thing. This is the thing. And I like this term that I read in uh in 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 the Discord because this community has a Discord channel, right? It was a thing I read about it in a while ago. They, you know, one person made a comment on how BitConnect appealed to the human frailties of the people. And I'm gonna let, let, let's build on that for a minute, you know. When you're talking about BitConnect, you talk about crypto, you talk about because you can't just get into BitConnect and think you're just gonna do what you're gonna do uh, uh, without understanding what the blockchain is, without understanding Bitcoin somewhat. Somewhat on a basic level. You gotta have your wallets together, you gotta have your crypto together, you gotta be ready to do what you have to do to make it work, right? So this is this is the thing. Inevitably, what ended up happening was the greed factor, right? And the temptation. People just couldn't help themselves. You seeing that, you seeing that lending wallet, the lending wallet numbers increase by the day, you know, you didn't really folks who weren't involved with, you know, the technology, they didn't care about the actual cryptocurrency, the lending wallet, the numbers, when you see the figures, the US dollar sign in that wallet increase, man, it made your, it made your mouth salivate. You know, palms start to sweat. You start to dream now. You start to even want more. It tapped into the addiction, the addiction pressure point in your subconscious this is what you wanted because you want more you never saw anything like this before and that's what it the the big connect crypto touched in the minds of people they said they have maybe 1.5 million active accounts i'm not gonna say users because there's people that had more than one accounts per person so active accounts 1.5 million Okay, the BTC, the wallet they have there, they, they have a wallet, right? The number one top BCC wallet, BCC, BitConnect coin wallet moved yesterday. And today we get this. 
or something to that effect. As soon as the, the there was some movement in the B, BCC, because you got to understand, people paying attention to this, even behind the scenes. People are following this to the letter, to the as best as they can. Because people were hurt behind this, man. People were hurt and want to hold on to this because the potential is there. You're talking about a coin that's truly decentralized now. It's decentralized. Look, what's crazy is you can't buy this thing right now. Unless, again, you know someone who, who, who you want to download. I don't even I don't, can. Yeah, I think you could. Yeah, absolutely. You could download a wallet. Everything is rebranded. There's a rebranding movement taking place. Right? Lickle B. Lickle B. You know, you talk about new... This logo got rebranded, for those who don't know. Right? There's a Lickle B now. Lickle B, right? Wallet. You could download. If you know someone who has some BitConnect tokens and they're ready to relinquish them, that's the only way you can get them now, I think. That's what I'm saying. That's the only way you can get them now. Because there's no exchange. It's not on any exchange. So, imagine, you see, you see, BitConnect, right? Back in January of 2018, professed in, in, in so many words to make good by the effery they did, to make good by bringing the value back up. Right, bringing the value of the coin back up, upwards of three hundred to upwards of three hundred sixty-three dollars, because that was the price that they, I guess, relinquished all the coins at three hundred and sixty-three. When they gave back all the coins, they didn't give back the Bitcoin that the people put in to receive BitConnect tokens to do the lending or lock their. You know, do whatever they did in the platform to earn their um, interest on a daily basis. They didn't give back the Bitcoin. They gave back BCC coins. But these people, BitConnect, these hidden, because they're hidden, individuals or individual whatever, said that they would probably try to make good. By bringing the price to the of the coin, giving, bringing the, raising the value back up to three hundred sixty three, maybe, just maybe, this could be a way for them to do that. You can't. There's no exchange right now. There's no exchange. There's no X right now. There's no exchange. Palatin X was the last exchange. Before that, it was Trade Satoshi. But Palatin X was the last, and right now it's not. It's it's there is no Palatin. There's no exchange. Again, wait to see how this thing unfolds, man. Wait to see how it unfolds. Wait to see. Yeah, you know, I don't know, man. Is I don't know. I hope, uh, you know, people say I smoke a lot of hopium, but I, you know, this, can this be a positive return? Can this be a continuation of more scamming efforts, more exit scamming efforts taking place? Or can this be a positive return? All we can do is wait and see. That's it. Wait 42 days, 42 days wait till july 1st and see that's all we can do so between now and july 1st if this thing keeps up man i tell you the anticipation again because this thing knows how to appeal to the sensibilities to the weak to the I'm telling you to the human frailties perfect perfect term perfect way to describe it they know how to pull the right right vulnerable human strings to get your attention my goodness take care